Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the first lady, Reto Ruto, went to church, and of course, she was meeting with the women in the church, and she had a message for the women. You would see her addressing women as if the promise is going to happen instantly. She was addressing the issue of affordable housing and what women can get from that kind of job that is about just to start, according to the Kenya Kwanda government. Though we know this is a job that has been here, it was done with Uhuru Kenyatta so largely, Kibaki started it, but Uhuru expanded it more. Ruto is just doing a continuation. And what has surprised me is the amount of money Rachel Ruto is promising women to earn if they go to do such kind of jobs. Number one, She's saying that they are going to earn close to 2,000 to 3,000 per day. I don't know how much a foreman is earning on a day. I don't know how much an electrician is earning on a day, if not just 1,000. I don't know what a plumber is earning on a day. Now I'm wondering, the women she's telling to go on Mujengo and earn 3,000 per day. Which kind of job or contract are they going to do there? Number two, she has talked about supplying materials to the contractors. And she's promising women there is a chance to supply material to this kind of job so they should prepare for that. First of all, listen to her. Then from here, we want to interrogate what Rachel Ruto is saying because she has also to understand the audience she was addressing. Sisi yeah. tunataka ku supply cement. Hmm? Si ni kweli? To supply mabati. To supply chuma. Na kina mama kuna kazi pia huko. Kazi ya kukua electrician, kazi ya kukua plampa. Yaani makazi mingi mingi ambayo unalipwa karibu shilingi 2000 2000 kila siku. Now we are continuing the regular discussion by just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, yes, it is true we have women who have trained in the electrician field. We have plumbers, we have masonaries, we have carpenters. But around the majority of society, you move to one world, you can find maybe like five of them or two. To some extent, even zero. So when it comes to such kind of jobs, women are a minority. It means mainly it is not their field, but we have some who are trying. So one question you can ask Rachel Ruto, in the congregation that she was addressing, can she tell us how many women have a training in plumbing? How many electricians was she addressing in that crowd? How many mercenary women was she addressing to go and take such kind of jobs? Because before you come and tell women about going into this kind of job? Did you empower them to go into that training? She has served for 10 years as a deputy, uh, as uh, 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 William Rutter served for 10 years as a deputy. We know she had an office she was running concurrent with the office of the deputy president. What empowerment did you bring to women to start those kind of uh, take those kind of trainings? So, this is a total lie. Even out of the women she addressed, I don't think if there is any plumber or electrician there who will go and do such job. And what we know is that there's no plumber who is earning 3,000 per day. There's no electrician who is earning even 2,000 per day. Now she's lying to them that mutaenda kazi mutakuwa mnapata elfu tatu na wanapiga makofi.
So that's where we have reached. Before we pick up my coffee, I would say, are you a plumber? Are you a carpenter? Are you a mercenary? Or what is your field in this job that she's talking about? When we talked about Mamamboga, this are Mamamboga are people when you are going to kabisa. She's talking about supplying materials to the site. Simple question. Before you clap, you should ask yourself, are you running a hardware? Who can hardware? You want to supply your mabati and naonge? Who can hardware you supply your chuma and naonge there? Do you own a hardware? Okay, you don't have. Now, do you have money that can, you, that, that, that can help you to get such contract? We are talking about small, medium enterprise. What do you make a biashara ya elefa musini, elef miya moja, elef isirini, elef kumi. Kwa hii hasa la fande nya walieka, si wanapea watu silingi miya tano. Sijui kama ilifika elef moja, wana wanambia watu na zaanda biashara na silingi miya tano. Sasa imagine, a man who thought that mama mboga need 500 to run their business. Now, the wife is coming to tell us that Mama Mboga can supply material to the site. Here, Chuma Rachel and Angelia, Unajua unaitaji kuwa close to a half a million for you to supply. Mutu wa chini kabisa. Njua kupea tenda ya kusupply. So, Mama Mboga mwenye wanapea chilingi miatano kufanda besara ya Mboga kutoka kwa hasla fund mia tano how do you get a contract to supply cement utapataje contract ya kusupply sand to the site or ballast inatoka wapi do you have a car you need to have a truck if you want to supply or uko na pesa ya kodisha truck ya kusupply kama ni ballast Sometimes we don't know the contract. When they were to the contract, there are people who have connection with this government and they are not poor, rich people. When we were to the contract, we na to contract to deliver. We were to pay a contract. So we were deliver mchanga, we were deliver ballast. Iso, we were to deliver the barabara, we were to deliver the panda juu, mukiimba, Mamba ya hasla. Watu wa roli ndi wanaenda kuwa rewarded here. Mama Mboga has no space in this field because they don't have that money that can help in supplying those materials to the site. Unless if Rachel Ruto is talking about another different Mama Mboga. Not the Mama Mboga we know in the market who is struggling to pay the taxes on, bail, on daily basis. Mama Mboga angekuwa na uwezo wa ina hiyo hangekuwa anakaa kwa kibanda angekuwa amefungua eh, duka kubwa maybe a, a retailer kubwa wa, with, with a chain if not then they will be running a supermarket Rachel Luto anaongelea watu wanarun a supermarket for you to run a hardware you need like a million a million shillings hiyo ndio hardware ya chini Uyo ndo mbuna nathapata tenda ya ina hiyo. Ata hawezi pata hiyo ni pesa kidogo sana. Sasa mtu wa hardware ya kiasi hicho, huyo siyo mamamboga na huyo siyo boda boda na huyo siyo hustler. There's a person who has employed people wakufanya ya kazi hapa na pale. Why come and lie to our women, our sisters, our mothers, our grandmothers on broad daylight, on camera? Nataka to supply which material? Mama mboga kona material, akona pesa gani ya kusupply material. And you know, when Gashako said that they are running a company, we thought it's a joke. But now we can confirm to you right on this camera that it is indeed is a company. Because now we are seeing first lady coming to market mutuku flies. And our women are buying into that. Why should you clap? 
we must face them with the truth huyu mama mboga umempea loan ya 500 kwa nini amuku tengeneza hustler fund ikiwa mnaweza pea mama mboga 100000 then from there we can talk about what you're talking about you saw mama mboga is worth 500 shillings this is an insult Rachel Luto should stop this unless if she was addressing women who have made their way in business those women who are stable in business unless if she's speaking on their behalf and if those are the women she's addressing then it is not mama mboga it is not boda boda it is not hustler kulikuwa na pesa za vijana youth enterprise they today they are insulting youth with 500 shillings hiyo ni ya kufanya kazi gani ya kukunywa pombe mtoe tu nini so we are here and this is the situation we are in now in fact hata hii mambo ya kujenga hizo nyumba they are going to give this hii mambo ni ya private they are going to give to private developers and okay what that told us about this for example kama eh, zile nyumba za nyaruta alikuwa anapeana pale Nairobi tuliona shabana amepewa nyumba kujenga pale Nairobi yeye is a private investor developer so for him we also he will go for the people who are going to supply him with the material yenye yahitampea hasara he has connection with these factories akitaka simiti anapiga tu simu bamburi wanampea simiti direct on a cheap price because they are here to maximize profit when will they come to contract mama mboga boda boda and hustler supply them yoyote ni ukora na lazima tukatae ukora